blank Reaper session open and I want to bring in the big book bunny. So the first thing to do is find the big book bunny, drag it across. And there it is. Maybe make it start at the beginning. W to go back to the beginning. It opened the window. You do know that in Reaper, you have to make sure that the video window is selected. So I'm going to limit myself to just a handful of sounds here. I only have four sounds. So uh, let's have a listen. Now I, I'm going to audition these on the Mac by just pressing the space bar. There's an equally easy way of doing it on the PC. It's up to you to find it. Now immediately I jump to the end. Right there. That's just made for that. So I'm just going to drag it out onto it. And let's just see what happens. Now, the volume of the main track is too loud. Pull it down. Now, if I want to move that, it only jumps in bits because we have the locked thing on. So I want to this to hit just a tiny bit after it's hit, I think. A little bit later. That sounds, sounds good to me. Okay, and what's the breath and hail like? I'm going to put that in afterwards, but I'm going to reverse it. Item re reverse as a new take. So here it is. Not much good. No. I'm going to highlight that and delete it. It's a heap of junk. Forget that. Back to the start. So what's our first thing that we have? It's a bit quieter now. Now there is sound on this first bit. So maybe we don't need to put anything there. Ah. Bang. Okay. So. What have we got? We got the breath inhale. Hand clap and a finger lip pop. I'd say I'll try both. And import on separate tracks on one track. No, we'll insert them on one track. So, yes, on separate tracks. Now, first of all, we'll hear them on their own. Not bad. But that sounds more realistic, doesn't it? What? What about them together? <laughs> I like that. What about if we separate them slightly? The other way around. Pull them a bit closer together. That sounds good. Next. We're very limited on what we have here sound-wise. So let's just see what can happen with uh, this. Now, if it's getting a bit tight, we'll just move it down to another track. See, that sort of works. Now, I could, I could maybe to make that sound a bit better, I could put a bit of distortion or something on it. If I have, we're going for cacas. Vocode, verbiage, blah, 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 pitch. So there's no distortion thing here. So, a bit of reverb, I suppose, would do it.
Yeah. Have a go anyway. I have to return this on. Stereo with initial delay zero. High pass. Wet. Now, little things falling. I suppose the clap, I mean, we're really getting nasty here now, because... Yeah, it sort of works. And uh, I'm going to copy that by pressing, on my computer I'm pressing command, but it depends on what, you're, what computer you're using. So that's the f first one, second one. Is that right? Now maybe, again, I'm better off, okay, I'm going to use a lot of reverb. I'm better off making another track, putting the reverb on it. A reverb that's it's there and then I'm on my ins and outs ins and outs ins and outs ins and outs where is it inputs there and I want outputs inputs sends send add new receive and receive from all tracks so I can pull that back later if I want certainly the very top one I'm gonna pull that back and the lip fart. Should we leave them all there? And we can we can pull them back later. But what's the reverb like? Room size. And a bit of delay. Stereo with damping and more wet. <clears throat> oh, it's horrible. Preset. Just a live vocal. Wide, wide. I mean, cheapest. Way too much. Dark corridor. That'll do. Now, it's a bit much at the moment, but we'll bring it down. It sounds more plausible there. Now, I'm going to take the reverb off this one. Remove because we're using the reverb here. Now, so there's only two of those. And then you got that. So I'm really stuck now on what I can use. I have to use the breath inhale again. Yeah, it works. Too late. And maybe we'll change the pitch of this. I'm going to move this one up a tiny bit. Or maybe I'll move them both up a bit. So I'm pressing shift and six. And make it shorter. And this one, I move up one, pressing shift, six. They're still a bit long. It's more like it. And this one's a bit soon. Well, 
Let's just use the old lip fart again. <clears throat> now maybe the start of it isn't good, so take that away. And what about bringing this one down? So zero nine eight seven six five five and make it lower and longer. In fact, do you know what? Kill that and we put one of these yokes in the hand clap, I think. And let's bring it down by pressing shift five. Bring it down a full two octaves. Ha ha. You could do something there, but out. See, you could hit a little rustle for that. Ow. So again, finger, finger pop, these aren't the right things at all to be sticking in here, but... Let's zoom in and make it... So you're, you're always playing a game of listening to see if it's a little bit late or a little bit early. It's still, it's still a tiny bit early. So, drag it like that. A little bit early still. That's more like it. I'm putting it more and more each time. Until it goes too far the other way. That looks good. Something there. I think that's enough. So you, you get you get the impression. So here's what we've done. You've done it all the way from the start to the finish, and you've gotten all your. You might decide that some of these want to be a little bit less and a little bit more the volume sliders. And you say you've it all done then. So highlight, go up the top and just drag. So you've got the whole lot highlighted. Go into render. And of course, like always, don't do entire project, do time selection. I'm saving mine to the desktop. And I'm going to call it BBB RB for Ronan Brown. For me just now. One, because I'm sure I have to do it 40 million times before I get it right. And I go down here, not to video GIF, but to video FF MPEG encoder. And it's making it very small, but that gives it a small size, which is easy to upload. It's not very good quality. So if you wanted to get better quality, you could uh, increase that, and the bit rate and all is, is is very very low. But it'll do us. It'll do us. So we go render. Oh, it's showing the video as it does it. So now we sit and wait. It's not making any sound, and I noticed that I've gone over there. See that plus six point four. So it'd be worth pulling back on those slightly. It's not going to kill anyone, but you know, if you go over, I give you slightly less marks. Oh, that, that, that's made for sound effects. And that. And those three. And that. And that. And that. And that and that and that. And especially this. Wang boing. Okay, let's have a look. Desktop, there it is.
And then on to the end. So, you can see there that the sounds were way, way, way too loud. So I would need to address all of that. Um, you can watch where they're, you know, I'm looking here now on the left hand side for when it goes over. So that went over. So these lads here are too loud. Now rather than playing around here with the volume sliders, why not do this? Pull down that joke at the top, the volume handler. Zero out this red stuff again and watch. It still went over. Didn't go over that time. So do all that sort of stuff. It's not a rocket science this, but it's good fun. That's it. Now, when you have your uh, video saved to the desktop, uh, in my case I did it as an AVI just because we were doing AVIs last week. And uh, just to show you quickly what I want is I want you to take a screenshot of all the work. Now what I have here is a little bit too small. So let's maximize things as much as we can. Uh, get rid of the video and make the window fill the screen. I need to get rid of the mixer, get rid of the docker. And now I'm going to press, in my case, command and use my mouse to make those, uh, make those tracks all large. I can make the top one small because I'm not so interested in it. Press W to get back to the start, and that's starting to look good. So I can see all the things that you've put in there. I can't see what they are, but I can see roughly what they look like. And then I'm going to take a, a screenshot. In my case, it's uh, Command Shift 3. It'll be something else, print screen or something on a PC. And that pick might be there. That's it. So now I've got the two of these things here. And I don't need to name this it's a screenshot. That'll do. And I'm going to highlight the two of them. And I'm going to zip the two of them. Compress two items that's appeared here. This is it, archive. So don't forget to go CT108. Your name. As I meant. Three. And that's it. It's there, right? Now, what size is that? Five megabytes. It's tiny. It's perfect. And then it'll be a case of going in to the assignment on Blackboard and go wherever the, the assignment is and upload it. When you're asked to find the thing, use that one and upload it and that's it. Done.